listen we we had we didn't know any of this stuff like yeah 12 months ago we literally mm -hmm. had no idea oh jacob if you like like the whole korean groups um i'm not a big fan of pop that's why i was very surprised when the whole k-pop thing how different mm -hmm. they play it but mm -hmm. my favorite band when it comes to like a non non-pop mm -hmm. if you like acoustics uh, r&b if you like um ballads exo Mm -hmm. Just listen to EXO. The EXO. Unbelievable. Listen to, I, I'd say, listen to their pop stuff if you want, but listen to the, like, their B-side tracks. Yeah, and like their acoustic live things are absolutely impeccable. The best acoustic performances, uh, I, most, I'd even say, I'll dare to say, right now, probably some of the best live acoustic sessions they wow. have in the world. Mm. Wow. And they're all like 2016, 2017, so. It's fascinating, yeah, man. It's, it's amazing how... With the internet, the world has become so uh, inclusive in the sense of like, yes. 50, 20 years ago, you wouldn't, you would, we would, this, if we were having this conversation 20 years ago, we would not be talking about anybody outside of the US or the Britain. Yep. You know, it's, I it's, agree. Just, it's the way the world was. And, I, you know, it's just, in, it's amazing because of the internet. Now we have access to all these other artists. It's amazing. Yep. You know what I mean? It's, it's so fascinating. Do you listen to, well, look at, look at what's happening. You're in New York, are you? Yeah. Well, look, look what's happened with like Latino music. Dude. Sure. It's like, to me, oh. as, as a Latino, obviously, like from Venezuela, when, mm -hmm. when like you hear music here in London, in Spanish, in a club, and people actually know this song, yeah. you're like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? Literally Absolutely. 15 years ago, outside yeah. of Latin America, nobody knew of Latin, Latin terms or Latin rhythms. Outside was... of Latin America and my family parties. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Um, yeah. But I think, I guess, though, the difference in New York, though, is that you had New huge. York has huge Latin communities sure. yeah, 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 from yeah, such yeah. a long time, like yeah. ages ago. Right. So, yeah. um, I mean, I, I understand that in New York is totally different, but uh, or Miami. But outside mm. of like, say that you were, oh, I so don't know. True. Yeah, I don't know. You were in like. Say where you in, you were in Toronto, Korea. You would have never out. bloody known who Daddy Yankee was. A hundred percent. Yeah, Daddy. You yeah, know? absolutely. What I'm saying, that gasoline. That's how cool the the music but world even, has has connected you to the internet. Yeah. It's so nice. What I'm finding even more fascinating is 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 how these other influences are influencing pop now. Like you know, I you know with with. Or I, let me let me say Western pop like like that. I I don't exactly know. There's so many people call it the different things, but like the one and two and one and two beat that like we've heard forever from Daddy Yankee and all this this uh, reggaeton right. kind of stuff. We've heard it forever, yeah. but like now it's like you you're hearing in everything Drake one dance or anything that's pop that now has that one and two and it's like I feel like I'm at yeah. like my like I said my Latin parties going up growing up. You know? <laughs> it's like or you even take like these uh these like middle eastern kind of vibes you know so for example i don't know how much music theory you guys know or anything like that but like there's a specific uh scale that has that it sounds like the belly dancing um mm -hmm. you know snake calling scale it's called the harmonic Absolutely. minor oh the harmonic yeah. minor yeah 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 um uh, uh yeah the har the harmonic minor yeah and it, it's just a very distinct sounding thing like like mm -hmm. by by me saying the belly dancing kind of sound we know what it is but that that sound is like very distinct to that middle eastern kind of vibe but now we we hear those tones inside of like pop now and it's just it's so fascinating because like i could pull up my phone open up spotify and listen to something from south korea from new york from venezuela from <laughs> you know all these different places in 5 minutes you know which wasn't possible before you know what i mean it was so yeah. interesting I, I totally agree. I think we're at a we're at a point in 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 technology and like the internet that is so exciting for music and like creators from all around the mm. world. I think if if it was if it was hard to get to have a crossover, um, you know now now is so possible. Now it's yeah. so easy to get that, and you yeah. know it's, I want to say it's easy, but it's definitely easier. Uh, I agree. Well, my bad. 100%. Yes, I totally agree with that. But um, the tool, like the the opportunity, is there. Like yeah. you might have to build your own bridge, Ooh. but but the materials and the tools are there, right? So oh, yeah. brother, it's so exciting. And Bale, when the hell was it even possible to build your own bridge in the music industry? You oh, couldn't. Bloody impossible. You couldn't. Yeah, not you independently. Talk you talk to, to I talk to these musicians that are like like a little older than I am and it just it wasn't possible you know mm -hmm. and, and they, there's two sides to every story right the grass is always greener on the other side because the yeah. alternative is like 
when you did start to get traction 30 years ago, like there was a good chance you'd make some real progress because that would, it was impossible to make traction. Now here, I feel like there's so, so many people trying to make music and become something in the industry that's flooded. But I, I, it's the same mentality that I think that works is like, if you keep working and you keep going forward, it, you're, it's going to pay off. You know what I mean? Like, it's so easy that it's almost like, like it's too flooded with people that really don't know what, like not necessarily don't know what they're doing, but like, aren't going to go anywhere because they're like they're, they're not it's not their job it's a hobby you know what i mean and mm -hmm. and i don't know it's it's fascinating man it's it's so interesting it's so i think interesting. it's a i think it's a perseverance game though like you have like i couldn't it, agree more yep yeah i think those those people that are making it as a hobby or they haven't found out whether they want to do that as as for for a long life career i think they eventually filter out because yep. it, it's a perseverance game and it's about persistence. And let me tell you, there's nothing harder than that, right? Nope. There's nothing harder than maintaining <laughs> the workload and 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 uh, uh, having the same vision for a long time. So I think um, the people that are successful today that have done it independently are the biggest uh, example of perseverance in the industry. Yeah. I couldn't agree. That's I couldn't agree more. That's it's so true.